Hey everyone, Dan Takashi here. Today is August 19th, uh, 12 p.m. Japan time. As usual today, I want to do a world news report. Every day, I read about 10 different newspapers across the world and try to summarize in a YouTube video in about 10 minutes uh, the most important news that has happened over the world uh, so you don't have to read the papers if you don't want to. Uh, for those of you new viewers and subscribers, please see the description area as to who I am. I'm a half Japanese, Japanese citizen, uh, born in Tokyo, raised mostly in the States, uh, previously Wall Street. I uh, had my own fun, sold my stake in the fund, traveled the world, and then uh, started YouTube social media for the first time January of this year. I uh, got about 300,000 followers, very thankful to everybody's support, and just started this English channel about two months ago. So if you would subscribe below and follow me, would very much appreciate your support. As usual today, I will first start with a quick review of the global stock markets, then economic news, uh, then society news. Uh, then political news, and at the very end, I'll give you my opinion on what I think of today's news, as well as answer questions from the audience. So let's get started as usual today. Looking at stock markets across the world for today, markets in the U.S. were open on August 18th today. The Dow Jones today was down 0.24%. The S&P index was up 0.23%. The Nasdaq Composite Tech was up 0.73%, while Canada TSX was down 0.18%. Euro stocks 50, uh, again, this is Europe, this is for the 18th. Euro stocks 50 was down today 0.49%. FTSE 100 down 0.83%. DAX Germany down 0.3%. CAC France down 0.68%. IBEX Spain down 0.66%. For Asia, this is for the 19th. Today, as of right now, uh, markets are not yet closed, but midday, uh, Nikkei is up today 0.22%. Topics is up 0.13%. Hansang, Hong Kong is up 0.08%. CSI, uh, China is down 0.73%. ASX Australia is up 0.98%. And MSCI Asia is up 0.48%. So overall, looking at the news today, uh, two things that I point out right away. Number one, uh, there seems to be a continuance for the last few days days of the Dow Jones to underperform relative to the S&P and the Nasdaq. Uh, another thing today, the S&P did hit its all time high. Uh, please see the video yesterday that I just put out. This is going to be big news all across the world today. Uh, the other thing, actually, the third point, Europe continues to go down, uh, even though Asia and the uh, US markets seem to be doing fine. So I'm seeing this continued underperformance in Europe. Uh, and now there's actually quite a big uh, gap between Asian and North American markets and Europe. Look at Europe here. FTSE down 15% in the year. IBEX down 20% in the year. This is quite a big difference between, let's say, the DAX, which is up 12%, NASDAQ up 40%, S&P up 15%, Nikkei up 12%, CSI China up 26 Europe is really underperforming a lot this year, uh, really getting hit hard from coronavirus. So uh, these are the three points that I would like you to take note of today. So let's move on now to economic news for the day. Economic news today, uh, number one, Japan exports uh, were announced. Japan exports fell 19.2% from a year earlier to 5.37 trillion yen compared with market consensus of a 21% drop. So actually, this was a little bit better than expected. Uh, however, it was a fifth straight month of double digit declines for export. Uh, so coronavirus is definitely taking a very big hit into the export sector at the moment. Uh, another piece of news announced today uh, was the Japanese machinery orders. Core machinery orders in Japan, which exclude, exclude those for ships and from electric power companies, fell a sharp 7.6% uh, month over month in June after rebounding a modest 1.7% in the previous month. So this missed the market expectations of a 2% increase. So again, this was another piece of data point that I think uh, showing that the Japanese economy is taking a bit of time to recover. Uh, again, I'll talk more about this Japanese exports later on because I think what's more important is the trade balance for the economy. So let's move on now to uh, society data of the day. Society data of the day, let's take a look at uh, coronavirus new cases on the day. Uh, coronavirus daily new cases today announced were for August 18th. And we see daily new cases. Unfortunately, today, another pickup too. 253,842 new cases. So this sucker just doesn't want to go down. Uh, I thought it was, <laughs> I thought we were in clear skies, but you know, overall, uh, midterm trend, I still think that right now the trend is still midterm, longer term going down. So it's good to see that as long as we don't break above the recent highs to 290,000, I think we're still on uh, clear skies to go forward. Daily number of new deaths announced today also picked up in tandem uh, at around 6,312 cases were announced for August 18th. So looking at by country, 
we see that for the U.S., daily new cases announced today were roughly 44,000. Brazil was roughly 48,600. India, roughly 65,000. Peru, around seven, uh, around 8,000. Beautiful Colombia, around 12,500. So we're seeing uh, India is back up into the 60,000 range, and Brazil and U.S. has notched up again. Uh, Brazil and U.S. Uh, came down quite a bit yesterday. U.S. was in the 30,000 range. Brazil was in the 20,000 range. Uh, so the data is kind of all over the place for Brazil. Uh, so I don't know what to think uh, of the Brazilian data because it's coming in all over the place. I, I finally, I, my, my gut sense is telling me that it's a little bit unreliable, whereas the data in the U.S. and India is probably a little bit more reliable. But otherwise, unfortunately, today was a global pickup. Uh, it's interesting to see that there was a pickup and a pick down uh, sort of in tandem together. Yesterday, all the countries went down together and today all the countries went up together. So uh, I don't think that there's a correlation between these countries, but that was interesting to see nonetheless. Moving on today to other types of news today. Uh, first and foremost, uh, the DNC convention, this is the Democratic National Convention. Bill Clinton lays out uh, his speech as well. Yesterday was Michelle Obama, now is Bill Clinton. Uh, the big heavyweights in the Democratic National Convention are obviously uh, pushing for Biden and against Trump. Uh, otherwise, South Korea records its highest daily rise in coronavirus cases since early March. So clearly things have not subsided in South Korea. Moving on to economic news. Guys, I don't want to say I told you so, but the biggest piece of news today, top of Wall Street Journal, S&P 500 closes at new high. Uh, as I was saying in my video yesterday, once this happens, this is going to be top news. And here it is. It's top news. I've seen this before. After a big downturn and we go for a new record high, it usually becomes a top headline across most financial newspapers around the world. So now we're seeing this again. February 19 record is broken. Uh, please see my video yesterday on uh, my views as to what the uh, stock market will do going forward from now. Otherwise, guys, uh, very, I think, quiet news. I didn't see that much. Again, talking a lot about the S&P 500. has soared more than 50% since the Federal Reserve and government deployed vast stimulus for March lows. Uh, talking a lot about the S&P 500. Um, otherwise, you know, the same stuff about Democrats have brought on tax and Trump, Trump at the National Convention, uh, how Bernie Sanders and his supporters made peace with Biden. Kamala Harris nomination adds to the New Delhi unease as U.S. volumes. Uh, a lot of stuff regarding the U.S. president lunch is still continuing to go on. In other parts of the news, um, in other parts of the world, however, the Mali's, Mali's president resigns and dissolves parliament. Uh, so please note that there still is unrest going on in other parts of the world. Um, in terms of uh, looking at the uh, Fox News as well, I'm for, <laughs> it's still the same news. Uh, Jill Biden tells America why her husband should be the next president in closing remarks. Uh, Tucker, Obama, Kwama, Browse, DNC speech shows what's wrong with the party. This is going to continue, guys. It's the same riffraff going on and on. The conservative side is going to attack uh, Trump. Uh, sorry, attack Biden. And then the liberal side is going to attack Trump. And this will continue to go on and on and on for the next two and a half months. It's always like this every election cycle. And this will continue to happen. I guess I think the same this time is round. Democrats make it official. Looking overall at the latest polls here, it's interesting to see that, uh, yes, the gap is widening a little bit. Uh, but this is, although very, very slight, very slight, Trump is making a little bit of a comeback here in his approval rating. Uh, it started really widening here uh, around June and July and August when coronavirus cases really started picking up horrendously in the U.S., uh, and yes, it still continues to remain wide, but Trump is making a little bit of a comeback. And guys, please know in the U.S., it's not based on a national poll who gets elections. This wins a lot of press. Uh, a lot of newspapers talk about this, but it means very little for the actual election. U.S. is conducted on an electoral basis by state, as most of you know. So this doesn't mean that much. What means more is who is going to win the swing states? Ohio, Florida, Wisconsin, stuff like that. California is gone, right? It goes to the Democrats. Uh, a lot of these other big states are going to be gone. They will go to the Republicans. It's the swing states. Now, that is going to be the real contention, and we don't know what's going to happen. Based on our last election cycle, when everybody thought Hillary was going to win, and it didn't happen, I think a lot of Americans across the world, also a lot of people across the world, are... Um, sort of hesitant to uh, believe the polls right now because the last election cycle was so incorrect. So guys, overall today, the biggest piece of news, in my opinion, it's probably going to be, mm, number one would be these Japanese exports tumbling. Why is this important, guys? So Japanese exports fell 19.2%. You may think, okay, this is not that big of a deal. But what is sort of a big deal, in my opinion, is 
exports versus imports now exports itself okay it's still positive or well, yes of course it's supposed to be positive because the country is always exporting it's come it, you know it crashed during the corona crash and now it's sort of making a comeback so you may say this is not a big deal what i think is a big deal is japan balance of trade now japan balance of trade is exports minus imports and this is a big deal because this right now recently over the last few years or so it's been testing negative several times and Japan has historically been positive. Only recently, throughout the last, basically since Abenomics started, has Japan's balance of trade been more negative than positive. And this is rarely pointed out in Japanese newspapers. Uh, at least recently, I haven't seen it much. Since Abenomics has started, the balance of trade has been more negative than positive, as far as I can see. And this is a problem for Japan, given the fact that Japan, still the machinery, uh, sorry, the manufacturing sector, uh, GDP has grown the most. Uh, so I continue to believe that uh, while this happens right now, this is happening because one of the reasons is not only Japan's population growth, but also because too much of Japan's GDP is still reliant on old fashioned industries like manufacturing export. This is not the way that Japan's going to compete going forward. It's not. We're going to lose to Vietnam, Philippines, Indonesia, India, China. They can make a lot of the same stuff cheaper and faster sometimes. So this model really needs to be uh, highlighted, I think, across everyone's mind, business people and politicians, that uh, when export numbers come out, please keep in mind the balance of trade, that this is continuing to be a very important, I think, issue for Japan and how Japan's GDP is gonna grow going forward. Japan should be focused more on services, uh, IT, uh, technology. Also, if possible, I think mining and commodities right now is Prices are still historically low. It's a good time for Japan with no natural resources to go to other countries and invest and get some resources in this area. So guys, that was the most important news in my opinion for today. Uh, the most commonly asked questions today from the audience. Uh, number one, the most commonly asked question uh, was definitely regarding gold and also the dollar. So I think I'm just gonna have to do another video because when I get over a few hundred comments regarding the same thing, then I make a mental check to myself. I just, I'm gonna do a video. So uh, guys, I'll just do another video on this regarding the dollar, regarding the euro, regarding the dollar yen, uh, regarding gold, regarding silver. They're all moving all over the place right now, especially right now. I think there's a lot of, uh sort of hesitancy regarding the dollar and especially the dollar uh euro because i made a recommendation to buy the dollar euro and it's gone down it's gone ticked down a little bit recently for my recommendation uh so it's a tiny loss it's very very small it's not that big at all but a lot of people are asking whether they should cut the trade or not i will do a new video going forward today so please look forward to that thanks so much guys for watching my channel uh english subscribers would very much appreciate uh if you haven't already subscribed to my channel obviously subscribe and if you could send my channel link out to any of your buddies and friends would very much appreciate your support thanks so much guys have a great day wear your masks it's sunny it sucks to wear it because it's hot i know i hate the mask as well but i think it's good for society until we see things calm down uh and i think you know overall it sends a good message as well so thanks so much guys have a great day ciao